Okay, good morning, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'll be using the African Black Soap, the Clarifying Mud Mask. <laughs> As you can see, it's kind of like a gray clayish uh, look to it. Um, I got this mud mask from Target. I was just reading some of the stuff that it has in it. One is like almond extract oil, which is very good for detoxing and purifying your skin. This mask is very lightweight. It doesn't feel really heavy at all. It's not one of those masks that... Okay, so I have a towel, towelette, rag towel, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't use the short white rags on my face just because sometimes when I use different products, I just like for me to be able to keep going when I'm using my face mask because I have a short attention span and I get distracted really easy. But I'm just pretty much dampening the towel and I am just trying to get everything off. I use warm water. I don't really think it makes a difference if you use warm water or cool water. I just know that in the beginning I like to use warm water and then towards the end of my skincare routine I use cold water just so I have like a nice refreshing feeling afterwards. Um, today is the day that I do like my deep cleaning of my face so I'll be using two um, cleansing bars to clean my face. I'll be using um, one toner and then I'll be using three different moisturizers just because I don't have anywhere to go so if my face is kind of like oily it's good for me because my skin is very 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 very, very dry I have to keep my skin moisturized and like hydrated throughout the day or else it will look terrible so I pretty much got everything off. By the way, I did get this mud mask from Target. It was about $6, give or take. But I'm pretty sure it's in a local beauty supply store and Walmart. So step two, I'll be using the black soap. This African black soap with tea tree oil in it. I do not use Shea Moisture black soap just because it burns your face. And it's all black, so it's really sketchy. This black soap I got from the hair store is probably like $1.99. And it's really good. If the black soap that you're using doesn't get super sudsy, and you'll see what I mean in a minute, then you need a different black soap. So I pretty much just wet it, and I'm just showing you up close, you know, it has like all the little brown chunks in it. You just wet it and rub your hands, rub your hands, and you see how sudsy that it's getting. A little goes a long way. You just lather your face and just scrub. Um, I am using my hands, but whenever I'm washing my face, I make sure after I touch and after I use everything, my eyes are burning a little, <laughs> after I use everything, I always wash my hands. I keep constantly washing my hands. That's very important. Always wash your hands before you touch your face because your hands are one of the places that picks up bacteria the most or easiest. I don't know. But just always wash your hands whenever you touch your face, Ever you touch your face. And just keep like washing it and make sure you kind of like massaging it, massaging your face a little bit because your face does, you know, need a little massage or whatever, you know, and then just like the rest of your body might need a massage. Your face can use a massage too. I do kind of like get into the corners of my nose just because I know sometimes like if it's not all the way clean, it can leave like dark spots and it looks really, really gross. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just gonna keep um, dampening the towel, but I use different sides of it, and that's why I don't use the short rag. I use different sides of it, and then, like I said, I'm using warm water right now, towards the end, I use cold water. So I'm just wiping it off, wiping it off. I don't even have to see the whole video to know I probably didn't get all of it off. And yeah, the black soap does get off a lot of dirt that you may not get like the first time around. But always remember, if you're like washing your face or you know you're doing your skincare routine, if there's dirt still on your rag, you you need to keep washing your face. That's the same thing with your body too, like. Or like if you come out the shower and there's dirt on your towel, like you need to get back in the shower. But yeah, so. Pretty much, like I said, I'm using the African Black Soap first. I got that from the beauty supply store. It's like $1.99. I already said that already, but just me. Yeah, I have really sensitive skin, and my eyes are really sensitive. So if you see me, like, blinking and all that, it's probably burning. This is lemon, a lemon bar soap. Um, I got that at the dollar store. 
no, at the beauty supply store for $1.99 as well. I've had that bar of soap for about a good two months, I think. So it really does last a long time. It really does go a long way. And I felt too much on too soon. But yeah, I just do the same thing where I just just kind of go in again and like really get into my face. Um, I'm having way too much fun in my face. But yeah, so the black soap really does a deep clean for me. And then the lemon bar soap kind of evens out my skin tone a little bit. Because I really do have dark spots in my face. And I don't want to use like no lightning cream or anything like that. But I just want for my skin to all be one tone. And this, you know, I'm just going to wash my hands. And then my hair, I am getting my towel again. And I'm just going to flip it around and dampen it. And then rinse off. So normally, I just, normally like every day, I just wash my face. So either I rotate between the black soap and the lemon bar soap. So I might do black soap Monday, lemon bar Tuesday, black soap lemon bar until I get to when I want to do my deep cleaning and I use both. But I rotate them because I just wash my face. Then I tone my face and you'll see in a minute which tone I use. And then I also make sure my face is moisturized and I didn't get soap off the side of my face over there. I already knew I was going to get it all off. Yeah, my eyes are kind of burning a little bit. Yeah. And mind you, I'm very dramatic. So to you guys, you might not even film anything, but to me, it's too much. Okay? But um, here here's this detox power brush that I bought. I purchased it from a store called Five and Below. Um, I don't have two of the other scrubbers in the box because I'm soaking them. But it was only five dollars. Um, yeah. So it is battery operated, two double A batteries. And my face is really irritating me. Um, yeah. So, I guess <laughs> I tried to turn it on. It was not working today. It was just working last night when I did my night care routine. Um, I do use this spin brush twice a day. I'm going to think that water got into the battery part, and that's why it's not working. So, maybe I should just replace the batteries and it might work. But, you know, I'm literally trying to put it together, but it's not working. And now look at me talking talking trash. This is probably I think I said it's probably why you shouldn't buy stuff from out the dollar store or buy cheap stuff. But it works really well, and even if it doesn't spin on its own, it's still very good for exfoliating. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my exfoliator. Oh, I'm talking about exfoliator, exfoliating scrub. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it still. So, I'm just going to, like, kind of swivel my hand around. Even though I still do it while it's moving. But, you know, just because it's not moving, I'm still going to swivel. But just do it a little bit harder. And, yeah. Just grab it. Okay. And so... This is Clean and Clear Lemon Zesty Scrub. It buffs and brightens with the gentle, with gentle micro scrubbers. So it's like exfoliating. Also, you guys should get an exfoliating scrub for your body as well. You should exfoliate each part of your body, like from your feet to your ankles or whatever, once a week. You don't have to do your whole body in one week. I mean, you don't have to do your whole body in one day. You can just break it up into parts. But you should exfoliate at least one part of your body or each part of your body once a week. So, I'm really upset that my skin brush is not working. And, of course, it wouldn't work for the camera when I'm recording. But it, it, it will work any other time, though. That's crazy. So, yeah, here I am with my towel i probably use cool water this time just because it's a lemon scrub so like cool water i don't know i just thought it would make my face feel like super refreshing i don't know sometimes i don't have like a method to my madness sometimes but it works i also have like a really big pimple 
on my forehead just because my time of the month is coming up and normally i get bumps around my face during that time but when you do get bumps do not bust them right now i'm using witch hazel for my toner i did purchase it from the dollar tree it was only a dollar of course because it's dollar tree but um yeah i put it on these little cotton rounds and let me show you it comes like this in a pack 80 in a pack i got it from dollar tree as well so i use those and i also use those when it comes time to take off my makeup i also use witch hazel when it comes time to take off my makeup i used to use coconut oil to remove all my makeup but it just gets really messy so i just kind of just do the witch hazel all throughout just this is another like toner is really like to help you even out your skin tone as well because i just want one skin tone and also i'm just showing you the round because you shouldn't like you shouldn't have dirt at this point after you wash your face twice with both the black stuff and the lemon bar like you still should have dirt unless like you need a deep deep <clears throat> clean. um just thinking what should i use next so i think i'm gonna go ahead and go with the Let's search on the side. I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm just gonna show you that I have two scrubs that I go between, which is the lemon zesty scrub and then ground coffee scrub. I would not use both of them in the same day just because they can't irritate your skin. Um, so elf hydrating face primer, I do put this on sometimes. I only put this on by itself, especially like when I'm going out because it does give your face like a little smooth finish almost but right now i just want to hydrate my skin so i'm going to use that and i'm also going to use a few other things just because i have nowhere to go and my skin can really use some extra moisture and then i'll be using shea moisture bath body and massage oil with avocado i really love this it makes your skin feel so smooth and so nice and you only need a little bit just a little bit I'm trying to show you, but you literally only need a little bit. That's probably too much, but that's probably when I'm shaking my hand off. But yeah, you just need a little bit, rub it in, and make sure you massage the oil into your face. Just because you should massage the oil into your face. <laughs> I don't know what I want to say after that. But yeah, just massage, 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 massage. It actually feels really good on my skin. Just like massaging. I don't know. It makes my face feel a little bit tighter. It's probably why my face is so saggy. Or I will hope my face doesn't become saggy when I get older. So I always massage my face just for that reason. I don't want like a soggy face. And always make sure you always wash your hands always 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 wash your hands after you use different products and then I'll be taking just a little bit of shea butter it's like all natural shea butter it's actually really stinky it smells really bad but it's very 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 good for your skin extremely good for your skin but I'm only going to use a little bit just a tiny bit just because I use that primer and I use that oil and the shea butter and it's just like I don't want my face to be like all right now nah, you're doing too much but I do like to massage my face a lot like make sure I'm just pretty much moisturizing every part of my skin and I have so much moisturizer on my face but none of my elbows the disrespect honestly <laughs> But yeah, just I'm just making sure that I moisturize my skin thoroughly. Make sure I massage it in all the way. And like I said, I don't have anywhere to go. So I don't have to worry about looking too greasy and looking too oily. Right now, I'm just literally moisturizing for the sake of my skin. Just because I know that it can get a little dry. Not even a little. It can get super, super dry at times. To the point where it hurts almost. So once a week, I like to over moisturize. This is can't really do too much on it. I'm just washing my hands off again, as you can see. And yeah, and that is it. Um, you can either use witch hazel or apple cider vinegar as a toner. They're both in the dollar store for only a dollar. Um, you don't have to buy super expensive products for your face. You can always take care of your skin on a budget.
But yeah. And I'm not putting on any makeup today, but thanks for